Hi everyone, I found a really great book. In fact, I ordered it online. And it's called Speak Up. And I think it's really, really important that I read it to you before you go on to grade two. Because one of the most important things I want you to take away from being at UWC is when you disagree with something or there's something that you think you could make better that you speak up and do something about it. Let's think though about when is a good idea to be quiet and let it go. Okay, I want you to put your hand up now and have a discussion as a class about situations when you think it's okay just to be quiet and let it go. That you don't need to speak up, you don't need to talk to an adult, okay? So have that discussion now, put your hand up if you've got an idea of when you don't need to speak up. Okay, I've turned the video back on again. You know, sometimes you could be quiet and just let it go, just let it go. You know, if the situation is harmless, maybe someone's being a bit annoying, but actually it's not gonna hurt anyone. Or maybe you can solve the problem already, or it's a bad behavior, but it's an accident or a mistake. You don't need to tell on someone if they crash into you and it's a mistake, or if they spill their water bottle and it's a mistake, or anything like that. You, don't, you need to decide whether it's appropriate to tell someone or realize it was a mistake, and maybe the person who did it also feels bad. You certainly don't wanna speak up if you're having fun getting someone in trouble. That's not fair, that's not nice, and certainly not a way to get a good reputation and make friends. Not if you're trying to get someone in trouble. What about a problem that can wait to be solved later? Maybe the person you want to help you is busy, and this is a problem that is okay to wait until they're not busy and speak to them. Now, think about when you do need to speak up. Okay, Miss Newbegin's gonna pause the video. When do you need to speak up? Hands up. Okay, hopefully you said things like when someone get, is about to get hurt or when someone is hurt, when an adult is genuinely needed to help, when bad behavior is on purpose, or it, it feels as if they're constantly trying to hurt you or someone else with their words or their actions. You're trying to get someone out of trouble, or it's an emergency, of course. Okay, I'm gonna read the story, and then think about um, if you want to speak up, but you are a bit shy about standing up in front of people, how would you speak up? What sort of things could you do? We're gonna talk about that at the end. Speak up. There are times we should be quiet. There are days for letting go, but when matters speak, seem important, speak up, let others know. So I think it's really important as you're listening to this, not, it's not always vital to speak up, but sometimes it is a good idea. With so many ways to speak up, like making a sign, just a smile or a shout out. If we could make things better, why not let our words come out? So it's saying you don't always have to do something huge like writing a letter or something. It might be just making a sign saying thank you or we care or we like you. It might be just a smile to somebody who's a bit sad or doesn't have anyone to play with. When you're being introduced and they get your name wrong, so they pronounce your name wrong, speak up, say your name. You are you and you belong. Don't let somebody say your name incorrectly. Speak up and say, no, I'm proud of my name. Please say it correctly. And you can politely say, excuse me, could you pronounce my name correctly? I'll teach you how. When someone spreads a rumor and you're sure it isn't true, speak up, state the facts. Truth can open up our view. If someone is gossiping and saying something about somebody else, don't repeat it. Don't repeat it. Say to the person, don't gossip. This is not a conversation you and I need to be involved in. So you're speaking up and saying to your friend, no, I'm not going to have this conversation and gossip about somebody or say something mean about somebody. 
it's hurtful. When a rule just isn't fair, or has gotten much too old, speak up. Work for change. Justice comes when we're bold. There used to be a rule in South Africa that people with brown skin weren't allowed on the same buses as people with white skin. They weren't allowed on the same, at the same schools. It was called apartheid and it was terrible. So it's saying when a rule just isn't fair or has gotten much too old. So some rules are actually wrong. So you can speak up. When a person wounds another with their words or with their fists, speak up. Be an ally. Safety comes when we persist. If you see someone who's lonely or they're having a bad day, let's see who that is in the picture book. Speak up. Share a moment. Kindness goes a long, long way. You might think, oh, I'm not going to speak up and let that person join my, me at the table or in a game because my friends might laugh at me. But actually, if they're real friends, they'll be impressed and proud of you. When you make a small mistake, even if you didn't know, speak up. Say you're sorry. Learn to listen. Learn to grow. Saying sorry sometimes feels very hard, but it's a good idea. It's a good idea to swallow your pride and say sorry. When you have a special day or you're given something neat, speak up, shout your thanks. Gratitude makes life sweet. When you're sad or packed with feelings and the world seems dark and gray, speak up, ask for help. Friendship chases those clouds away. When trees and creatures suffer from our quick and careless choices, the rubbish all over the place. Listen again, when trees and creatures suffer from our quick and clear, careless choice. Speak up, rally others. Nature needs your mindful voice. Trees, dolphins, starfish, shells, plants, birds, they all can't speak. You need to help. When you know a scary secret about someone getting hurt, speak up, tell a growing up, Courage sometimes means to blurt, to say it. When the group is taking one path, but you know it's not the way. Oh, we know that one. Don't go down with a sinking ship. Speak up, change directions. Leaders don't always obey. So if you don't agree with something, speak up. Maybe tell an adult. While some people speak up loudly and your words might be whisper quiet, one voice can make a difference. So don't hesitate. Go try it. Even if you're feeling shy, speak up. Say if you don't agree. Interesting. Hmm, but maybe you don't want to stand up in front of the class and speak up. What could you do? Okay, we're gonna pause the video and put your hand up. What could you do? Okay, go back. I'll tell you in the back of this book, it has some really interesting information about people who have in real life who have spoken up and it has a list of ideas for kids and adults. You could donate money like you did to buying a solar panel. You spoke up and bought a solar panel. You could read books about people who have spoken up and feel inspired. You could write a letter to somebody to say, please, can we change this because I don't agree with it. You could volunteer your time. You could go and help somewhere. 
If you don't agree with something, go and help. Make a sign or some artwork that, that teaches other people to speak up as well or pe teaches other people to stop doing something like chopping down trees. You could say no to people. Say to your friends, no, I don't agree with that. You could help out and say yes to people. Come join me, come play with me. Don't speak to my friend like that. Don't speak to this person like that. Send a thank you card is a good way of speaking up. Giving a gift and a really easy one. Saying please and thank you. Saying good job to people. Giving them a wave. Even a big smile makes people feel better and it can change somebody's day. So think about any time that you see something you don't agree with or you know someone's feeling uncomfortable or you know it's going to damage the planet, how might you speak up?